I want to talk to you about pharmacist salaries in South Africa. Stay tuned. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Farmers, the best pharmacy roundup channel in the world. Before I get into the video, I need to make this disclaimer super loud and clear. Do not do pharmacy if pharmacy is not in your deepest heart's calling because there's already too many phony people in healthcare that aren't caring for the people. So do yourself and the rest of us a huge favor and don't do pharmacy unless it's your deepest soul's calling. There's already a whole lot of people that are not meant to be in this industry, but because they thought it was lucrative, because they thought they could make a quick buck, here we are with a lot of unvocational people that aren't caring because healthcare, you need grit, you need dedication, you need a passion, and it just has to be in you. Because look, if you're not gonna care for patients, then you're doing yourself and the rest of us a huge disfavor. Please don't do pharmacy if you're not a pharmacist at heart. It's already a very highly reg regulated, very highly pressurized environment that the added stress of not even wanting to be there and making it miserable for the rest of us is not something we can handle. So shoot, shoot, shoot. If it's not for you, bye-bye. Thank you very much. Now let's proceed. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, for all those who already are in pharmacy and who love it, who know it's their calling, it's their vocational mission here on earth, then listen up because it's not all somber. There is hope. There is hope. So now that we've gotten that out of the way and those who are meant to watch it are gone, now you and I can focus, okay? Because I know that if you're already in the industry, if you're already qualified, maybe in a job where you're wondering, are you making what you're supposed to be making? What's the average? What's the highest pay? How do I get to a better pay? Is it the region I'm in? Is it the location I'm working at? Is it the sector? Is it my degree or can I do a postgraduate? Well, I got all the answers for you, so watch till the end to get the most out of this. So, the average salary for a pharmacist in South Africa is... Ding! <laughs> Why do I always do drum rolls? I'm so silly. It's 40.6 thousand rands. 488,000 rands per annum. Now, listen. I don't know on which side you fall, but if the average is 488,000 rands per annum, that means that the lower paying jobs are in the 260,000 and the higher paying jobs are in the 700,000. Hourly rate is still on average 230 to 250 rands an hour. And this is a high contention subject. So I'm not even going to go there. I know the locum rates have been an issue for a while, but that's a different story for a different video. Here we just want to see the averages, the highs, the lows, where you stand and how you can improve that. Sectors make a difference. You can see this by comparing the sectoral rates. For example, in industry where there's production, pharmacists, QAs, regulatory, those tend to be the highest paying jobs, whereas retail and hospitals tend to be the lowest paying jobs. Average industrial pharmacists make around 668,000 rands a year. The lowest could make about 400 and the highest up to a million. This is gonna depend mostly on experience 
because if you've been in the industry for two years versus somebody who's been there for 20 plus years, there's a huge difference. Take a 28 year old pharmacist who's been in the industry for about three years, they're making around 32,000 rands. Pharmacist who's maybe 48 years in industry for a good 20 years, they're making close to 63,000 rands per month. Can you see that difference? It's over we're double. Experience is huge here. A lot of posts will demand that you have five years experience, 10 years experience, eight years experience, and this industry really stick in there and get your year's worth of experience so that after a good 10 years, you can start cashing up. Huge mistake I see a lot of people making here is hopping from one sector to the next, especially in industry you need to stick there for a good amount of time. Don't hop from retail to production to hospital if you're really aiming for that high paying check. Stay in the industry for a good 10 years and then you can rake in the bucks. If the industry isn't for you, then opt for something else. You can also make a good amount of money even if you're in retail spaces or hospital spaces. But here, you really have to aim for those managerial positions. By being a responsible pharmacist, your salary notch can increase by over 10,000 rands from just being a pharmacist. To my next point of, if you just have a bee farm, try and look into upgrading your degree with some managerial course or something that's gonna give you the edge with managing other staff members and being a team leader. There's the long age debate of, should I do a postgraduate degree, should I not? And for me, the short answer is yes, do a postgraduate degree 100%. You always wanna have the edge. In a saturated world where everybody is so crowded at the bottom, do something that elevates you. Go for a postgraduate diploma or even a full master's degree and separate yourself from the lot. Be remarkable. A or managerial postgraduate degree, you can definitely access the higher paying jobs because then having the edge and being an expert in your field, doing a postgraduate degree can really boost your remuneration. A normal B form graduate could earn about 31,000 rands. But with a master's degree, that goes up 60% up to 50,000 rands in certain cases. Age, no more experience than the other, but just the degree bumps you up a whole whopping 60% more. Think about that. Most postgraduate degrees are a year or two. So if you can sacrifice two extra years, it's definitely worth it. Doing any postgraduate degree because you think you'll get more money, you probably won't. Be so strategic in the niche that you choose. Things like clinical fields, public health, and logistics are the future. Before you go into a postgraduate degree, make sure that you've analyzed that specific sector. If you can, don't go straight from an undergrad to a postgrad and have some field years just to see what's really going on. Things can be very different than on paper. You can see lots of degree requires a lot of thinking. The right university, the right supervisors, oh dear Lord. I know about that. The right um, sector, etc., etc. So get yourself a mentor who can really advise you on which postgraduate degrees to do. The horror stories, like I did, to have the correct topics. So really choose your mentor correctly and inquire about where the postgraduate degree that you want to do is going to really take you. 
to get placement right after graduation, doing an academic internship might be a good solution for you. If you can afford it and if you have a little bit more time, definitely embark on an academic internship. T's and C's to this because then your internship is really good if you have ambitions to pursue an academic career. Otherwise, you may feel stuck once you finish because there's this thing of being overqualified. However, let me tell you something. There's no such thing as being overqualified. There's just the thing as not looking in the right places. Honey, you know the saying that goes, if somebody is intimidated by you, then that wasn't the person for you in the first place. Same, same thing. If an employer is intimidated by your skill, then that wasn't your job anyways. There are in the right places. And if all else fails, boss up and create your own employment. In 2020, entrepreneurial strategies and entrepreneurship itself is very much the way to go. About a very shocking aspect of pharmacist salaries in South Africa, and this is probably valid for the rest of the world too. Did you know that salaries are still biased according to gender? I almost fell off my chair. Male pharmacists, although in a female dominated environment, still get up to 7% more than their counterparts. How disgusting. Male, female working the same job, but the male gets more <laughs> Mind blown. Anyways, let's not linger on negativity. This is a man's world, isn't it? Anywho, let's go right into the regions. Did you know that the place you work at could be a reason why your salary is less? In regions or cities, you can earn up to 10,000 rands more. According to Salary Explore, in 2020, salary gaps of over 10,000 rands exist for similar jobs just based on location. A Bloemfontein pharmacist is going to earn 10,000 rands less than a Joburg pharmacist. Fact. These are there for Joburg, Cape Town, and Pretoria. For a pharmacist in Johannesburg is 43,000 rands. 0.7 thousand rands a month in Joburg and a close second with 43.6 thousand rands a month for Cape Town. Those are the two hot spots. My salary comparison for pharmacists in South Africa I hope it gave you a little bit of insight on what tactics to take if you want to improve your gains and the cities, the places to stay, maybe the postgraduate degrees to do, and the industries or sectors to go in. Follow what you think, where you live, and let's have a chat. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.